normally you start with the base, but I do it a different way, which is we start off getting a pencil, black pencil. It's just kind of really sketched on quite roughly and then sort of smudged it in on the top here. Then you want to take these, which are quite a weird combination of colours. So there's a bit of white, a bit of gold, a bit of red and a bit of black. And you're just following the shape of the eye that's already there. You know, I'm not trying to do something that doesn't exist already. And then I'm going to put a bit of gold just up here and get right down into the roots. That's a bit that people leave a lot of the time. And it makes a big difference if you fill it in. I'm going to use a bit of this, which is like a skin brightener. So you can see the skin starts to get this glow to it. Then we take one of these things, which are like a concealer, basically. So this colour is kind of warmer than our own skin. A lot of people do it the other way around. They think that you put in here a pale colour, but in fact you don't. You put a warmer colour because it counteracts the blue that's around the eye. And then we're doing a lighter colour now and knock out any blemishes, basically. And then you just rub it around and now just strengthen areas, like that bit of socket in the corner there. OK, so we have a little bit of lip balm. And these are kind of really pale, pinky beige colours, not far off the skin tone. It's just to take the pink away, so exaggerating the eyes a bit more, but it's quite subtle. And then I'm going to take the same colour and just gonna put some where her natural colour is. So you kind of find a good shape, which is like there, and then you just soften all the edges of it. Okay, and then the final thing is a bit of clear mascara, put a bit of powder just to stop it from moving around too much. That's it, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like you're going out. Exactly. It doesn't look, you know, too fashion shooty.